Damn you. Damn you to heck. Streamlabs, you're making things harder than it needs to be. And you know you're doing it. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, we are back, if you can believe it. I'm not eternally dead. Uh, yeah. We're back to loop here. Sorry. Brain, brain fart out for a second there. I uh, did a little bit of grinding off stream to get some more of the items. It fucking. These void orbs are impossible to fucking get. The astral orbs? Impossible. <laughs> you have to kill those fucking space boys, and you can only kill, like. Even if you kill them, it's not guaranteed to drop. And it's only get, like, you know, you only get, like, a fragment. So. It's annoying. But I did manage to fucking finally slurp together enough liquid to build a river. I can't believe it. I have a whole river of questions about these, this thing. Did you mean an ocean of questions? There's no more ocean in this world. The river is the standard for the big body of water now. I don't even remember the ocean. Just think, all this water is coming from nowhere and goes nowhere too. Is it the same water circling around or is it something constantly creating new matter? I have no idea. Do you want to see if it go it's good for swimming? Of course. I do want to get that upgraded as well. I don't think we have enough for both. I don't know. Almost upgraded. Because it gives us a town card. I want to find out what the fuck that is. A real temple of knowledge. The best temple of all. Getting knowledge. Crabbing and exercising your memory. Well, your muscle memory at least. I feel very sorry for the study of geography. Though, now you can learn the whole dis uh, discipline in just a few hours. Excellent. So I want to upgrade the cemetery because that means we get a one time revive. I was looking at the people. At first, they were lying down and then they started getting up, walking, bringing coffee. Convenient. I can look after you too. You don't need to lie down. You must go. Uh, I've always liked bridges, but I only remember that now. Yeah, me too. A river with a bridge is a good sign of civilization. I guess there's a place for them in any in my expedition. Here's a positive thought for you. The need to build constructions just to traverse some space means that our world is not as empty as it used to be. I see it as a good sign. Prolong the... Oh... I do want this, but we need more fucking water and more of that. Uh, I don't need another lumberjack. Oh. I'm gonna get all nine of those. Just have them have a little, little forest over here. Then I finish building the town. I can put random crap here, there, and everywhere. Uh. So I think I, I need an astro word. Oh. Just needed a thing. Eh. Not ideal, but I'm not gonna burn it down for half. It is three, yeah. I mean, I think there's less more space for storing. So I'm not overly concerned. I did find a uh, really good item for the. Plus two HP for every, po every point of defense the hero has. So this would be good for the. Um, ye olden boy. for the uh, just warrior. That's what I'm trying to say. These are the words that are coming out of my mouth. Suburbs. Start remembering big stone houses, but not people who, uh, not the people that inhabit them. You can only be placed next to other suburbs if they are present. It's only 15 cards, though. Uh, flows from knows, who knows where to somewhere else This makes it this makes per perhaps the only thing that this world has an end. Okay. I wonder if I took out, for example, I'm trying to think, right? So I've been grinding, trying to figure out what's good for my character. For the, you know, obviously doing the um. My, my character, see him. For the uh, Necromancer. 
I'm trying to think of like combos and stuff. It seems that you know scaling up too early is an issue I have a lot often, very often, a lot often. TM. I'm also wondering what gives me the extra cards. Is it the mud huts? Is is that? Is what increases my deck size? It's really quick, right? Because I want to know. I want to know, please. Tell me. How my deck get bigger? Because it was at 13 before, right? I don't know how to increase like I don't know how this is like this was very like I googled how to increase deck size like bring more cards bring more positive how do I bring more positive energy my dude It's not. It's not like I, it's not really helping at all. I don't know what increase my deck size. But you know. I give up. I'm not gonna spend my entire stream trying to figure it out. So 15. Okay. Um. Things I don't particularly need. I want to try bringing the river because it would boost the attack effects. This isn't exactly amazing either. I can't get rid of oblivion. Let's fucking this boys. Try it out. So they have two three abilities. Enemies have post after sending three. Just trying the last loop to see what it's like. Because I've yet to, uh, yet to see it. And I've messed a little bit with the settings as well, so. Uh, I'll do that. Be fine. Oh, I should probably actually check, shouldn't I? Attackers get thick slime effect, minus ten percent damage. It's probably right. I turned it off because it was um. Nah, fuck it. I always like because I love when I'm shooting right and I accidentally hover over something. We took mountains out, right? So let's not bother with that.
I don't know. Not letting the combo as well. See if there's even anything. Also, I don't know if this um. If this uh. God, I just lost it. My entire existence down the drain. Uh. What was I talking about? <laughs> Spring. That was a mistake. I didn't mean to put that there. Skeletons? Ah, I didn't notice the Rimmar had one. Banishes a random. I need to put that back on, don't I? Turn the river. Trying to overwhelm the character. I think I'm starting to put too much shit in the map. TBH. Say we get the town card. Is that what the suburbs are? Or did the village upgrade into a town I hadn't even noticed? Uh, these are all terrible. At least for like getting random crap. Open yet the uh, sticks on effect. Okay, that's not good. That's not good. Oh, jeez, Scoob <laughs> it gives an additional item for every non chest ally present in the start of a battle. No quest. I wonder if we put. I'm trying putting nine in a, in a square there. That was again wrong place. I didn't even let go of the mouse that time. I think my fucking finger slipped. I was gonna put it there. I mean, it's not like you know, cry about it really, but whatever. Keep oblivion that one. Eh, it's not a huge deal. So far, we're getting around with most of our health. I, of course, as always, want my special perks. My big boy perks. The unit's damage value is multiplied by percent of its missing HP. Wow. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Take 70 this damage from archers. Okay. It's not terrible. And how often do I get archers in combat? I guess I could pass the river like I don't know. I should try passing the river underneath the map, right? Just a good thing, a good idea. I have an oblivion, so let's put the right there. Sorry, bandits. I don't even want to see you. trying to think of, like how I want to do this. I'm assuming that having it pass under the uh, pass under the maps would cause some kind of enemy to spawn. It's kind of the goal. Game sound a little bit done because I watch a video while I'm doing this kind of stuff. It's not exactly the most, um. It's not, you know, it's a very good game to have stuff running in the background. It doesn't require a super large amount of, uh, focus. And, uh. It's nice. Yeah, thank you, though. Does that count? They fucking die though. It's always so annoying when they get away. You don't get the XP, you don't get the HP, you don't. It's not as good. Oh. Why is there a. Oh, okay. So skeletons and adjacent tiles. Oh no, he's just an archer. Not finished. May resurrect as a shadow skeleton after being killed. I didn't know that they spawn skeleton archers. I guess that's a expedition three thing. I don't know if I necessarily want to spawn the uh, thing now. The Goldville. Gold Town, USA. I see. I completely forgot about the idea of separating those. Hmm. 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 That changes a lot of our um, perspective when it comes to placing certain things down, right? Like, because now that they can spawn ranged enemies, that means I can't. Well, it means I need to be a little careful about what I place it next to. 
the big fights can be kind of annoying with ranged enemies. What's the evasion? I don't think it's not okay. Banish a random enemy at the start of battle only once per battle. So it gets rid of a. When it says enemy, does it mean his enemy or does it mean my enemy? Because that's kind of a different statement depending on how you take that. Right? Because to me, that means it can get rid of one of the skeletons. But I would assume that since it says. It says if it says enemy, no, if it says enemy, it means one of the other combatants. Does banishing it mean it doesn't take part in the fight? Doesn't, sorry, doesn't take part in the battle, or does it mean that? I think that's supposed to count for the. That, that definitely counts. For the, uh, for those bonus uh, equipment. Let's just do that. So it might be worth leaving that alone. Next battle is a little more uh, valuable now. Because you do, if you're trying to fill up the map, you do end up putting them literally everywhere. There are not a lot of side tile, uh. Ow! So is attack speed of allies. Why does the ghost do that? Towers or anything right now. I've already kind of bumped up the difficulty a lot by adding in the extra. Um, I think I want to get this out of there. The thing is, right, we never get, I never get the skill I want. There's always, the, there's a skill that increases your magic HP based on skeleton summons, and that's really good. Sorry, not for the game set, though. I think that's still kind of really good. Don't, I don't want to try spawning in the, uh, thing yet. We still have to deal with the ghouls up there. I don't know how safe we are going to be this run around, this loop around. I'm actually not concerned about the um, the wooden towns. I really like them because they essentially can't really hurt me, which makes them very good if you have that perk I was talking about. Because it keeps killing and respawning your skeletons, letting you get more uh, magic HP. I was doing one of the uh, one of the grinding runs I was doing. I had I had beaten the boss on the second level and had. 3,000 practical HP, right, so I had, like, 2,000 physical, and then another, like, uh, 2,200 and, like, 800 magic. Uh, I'm not gonna let him out yet. I wonder if this would affect this. Oh. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. Hmm. For safety reasons only, I'm gonna get rid of that battle field first. A shipwreck. And trade ships often fall prey to fishermen's expansion margins. Spawns a siren once per loot. Spawns a chest once per loot. No mimics. The reason adjacent tiles may become ghosts. Huh. I wonder if it still turns it into bloody tiles. That's fine. I'd like better gear game. The game doesn't like to give me good gear. I guess that, like, Architects one is very good to get early on. More loop XP. So you need to end up doing a lot more nearing the end. Okay. So it looks like it doesn't have to be a full loop. Towns. Crack in the walls and ancient scrolls can tell you many things about the people who live here. Increases experience gaining from these cool too. Okay, so... Scare just banished the fucking vampire. Okay. So that answers that question. It's kind of weird that it does that. Is that a positive? Is that a negative? I can't really determine that yet. Yeah. Undead brain. 20% chance to be fully revived from its corpse after 0.7 seconds. Bloodthirst. 20% of damage damage. Damage is dealt to all creatures that have the living attribute. Okay. So... It's always such a pain in the ass to get these things done. Wow, he didn't have, even have time to consume them. I, I figured he wouldn't. I figured only the last one was going to have that issue because. This might be a bad thing. I think the place to thick it down. <sighs> Nine. Twenty percent chance to cause bleeding that deals thirty-four damage after attack. make it back to the start if we even do. God, barely. And that was with all our potions, so it's gonna be a little bit more of a shit show this time around, ain't it? Uh do I wanna replace that one? No region, but it does give us We do always want to keep a little bit of regen because we have an item specifically at base to um, bump up the regen if we have some. So. Pass through here. Pass through here, down there, and out, I guess. It's a siren now. Problem is now, right? The um, they're gonna be annoying. Cause they, you know, if they don't die now, they're gonna just participate in the next fight as well. Only one got away though. Humidity lover. 
Gets the slimy positive effect, plus we evade their liquid enemies in battle. Okay. That is to afford a direct damage. Forward a direct damage to a random ally. So. Any more attack speed. This is gonna so fucking kill me. Okay. Uh, Siren's very dangerous. That's my free respawn. Uh huh. Did you target like any of the other skeletons, please? Okay. Wow. <laughs> okay. Siren is a big deal. It's good to know, I guess. Oh, you're kidding me. Now I'm gonna have to move this again, aren't I? Just look at us. Yesterday we didn't know how to live through it the day. We didn't know how to live through the day, and today we need more space to store all of our goods. I always knew that human greed would live through the apocalypse. Wow. Somebody had to get fucking political with it, didn't they? That's a nice structure. Sturdy, reliable, useful. I keep telling myself this over and over. And they start to believe it. My boys are trained. My boys are trained to see quite well in this mist. They'll support you in battle if you're within a crossbow's reach. And the civilians will sleep better at night. I can guarantee their safety. This tower will allow us to see monsters from a greater distance. Don't worry, these beasts won't scare my men. My man! Across over two tiles away from the campfire. Okay. So no sirens. That's that's the first lesson. Lesson number one. Uh, no fucking sirens. <laughs> ah! New, no. new no sirens, please. Uh. Should I switch up the build and then do a warrior, maybe? Get rid of... Boy, I don't know what to get rid of. Problem is, I just, I just... I want more cards, game. I want more cards. Give me more. I want to take everything in the deck. I don't care if it doesn't... It means I can't get half the crap. Ugh. I guess the mountain and the river don't... Oh, wait. I imagine it only affects it once, though, is the problem. <sighs> Something like, right, the, um, when it turns into the other mountain, would it possibly be even more effective? Because it is like 125 HP. So taking 125, it should give like, you know, the, what, 250? Double hook, <laughs> I can count. Uh, it's fair. Sometimes I worry, other times I know I'm not worth it. Take the runes out, I guess. Put subwords back in. I don't know if suburbs are arguably worth it or not. I know this isn't this is garbage. Uh I could take out oblivion. I don't know, the idea of having to go up against the um I guess maybe it wouldn't be so bad with the warrior, because I'd be doing an invasion build probably. Probably, he says. Because evasion builds all you fucking ever do. That's what I say. Um, fuck, 
fuck it. I hate that it doesn't just give me a random ring. Well, I mean, when I do the um, necromancer, right? It gives me two necklaces. I can't wear two necklaces or two books. And if you can believe it, I can't actually wear. I can't wear two books either. So I don't know what the fuck the game's on about with this bullshit. Oh, thanks, game. Two prerequisite required items. Thank you. This is very helpful. I love this. I guess I could have put the forest next to the road and put the blood forest down. That sounds like a great idea. Uh, I'm worried about the uh, harpy. And what that possibly means for me. I mean, I need it. It's, I'm not playing the... Uh, I'm playing the necromancer, I need extra health. So I need rocks, which means goblins, harpies, and everything else. It comes with it. Where do I want the for the river? I want to try passing through the map. I guess here's a fine place. Put it straight through there, run it down here. Just to make it happen faster, just run it from up here to down there. So weird, it's like it's spreading out of the ground. Why though? Uh a regular one is fine, I just Oh fuck me. I have to get rid of that. I already decided I was running it through here. I just <laughs> Literally, I will divert a river purely to not have it interact with that right now. So it's gonna come here, there, and then go down through here. I'm gonna put a fucking towel in between so I don't forget and do something stupid. Put the battlefield, I mean the battlefield in somewhere else on the map. I don't need to worry about living versus not living enemies. I don't need to worry about just trying to think about you know because when you're playing Necromancer, you have to worry about living versus not living. You got to worry about what's got a fucking soul. <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> Why don't spiders have souls? He says. I really don't know. Apparently, whoever designed this world thought spiders don't deserve souls, and arguably, I think they're not wrong. Fuck spiders. But only in a metaphorical way. I ain't no spider fucker. Way fuck. <laughs> uh, it's partially untrue. Christ. I wonder right, if I put. No, no effect on it. Reed appears in the road and near. Here's on the road and near road. Something scaly is watching from here. Probably shouldn't have done that as well. I mean, we're testing, right? We're learning. We're learning. We get to learn now. You know what I didn't do? Fuck me. I hate my life. I'd rather put the defense thing on. That I was talking about. Oh, this we go for the we go for the warrior. Very good. Does nothing, only needed to increase the length of the river. I uh, don't want rocks.
Mm -hmm. Really, uh, low drops. I could just put, put the time seer in. We don't have a lot of enemies. Imagine the fish boy is not going to be fun to fight, though. And I might put it in over here. It's going to increase the spawn rate of enemies as well as. Guys, in C. Fatalism. There is a chance to receive only one damage now. Tracker. When this unit is present, defense values of all evades and all its enemies are lowered. Oh, wow. Defense values and evades of all enemies are lowered. 20%. I wonder what happens if you get a couple of towns next to each other. I could get harpies in this mess. Random harpies. I'm not doing terrible so far, let's try it out. Can you only have one river? Or what happens if I finish this river, we'll let me stun everyone. Prison for now. Like any other really f real form of healing, so. I still haven't got a perk yet either. Um, and now it has a sneak attack, I think. Let's hold off on the river just for a second. Just don't want to accidentally die. Sea dwellers! So far from their home waters? It's one of your marches to conquer the land. I don't understand you, and the fact that I can't remember the langu this language now that I hear it means I never knew it. But if you can understand me, help me or get out of my way. <laughs> so, can I pass or not? <laughs> what should I do? I don't want to provoke a conflict. <laughs> Great. The uncertainty is ki was killing me. Master of Battle fills attack bar two thirds after missing a hit. Ah. Oh. Seems to damage every ally with the same ability. Where did they even come from? This one is very far from here. It doesn't even exist anymore. The new world would have been better without them. But I guess it's not my place to decide who can exist and who can't. I'm trying to save the whole world and not just the parts that I like. And I love my lack of a good weapon. Okay. I imagine it's worse with more of them. I screwed myself here though, didn't I? Because that's. <laughs> hmm. Getting worse. Our break could get worse. Uh.
with those boys. I'm gonna use the four direct damage to rid them out. That's not ideal. Mistake. Defense fence for three seconds after being hit, that can stack. Two times five. Why is it at plus ten? Fence is defense for every three seconds. Oh, loop level. Doesn't say it gets that, but it does. Not fun. I just love randomly allotted slot stats. I guess that would make it six, wouldn't it? I wonder if I put... I'm gonna have to see, right? It doesn't look like it's changing. I don't really want to put the, um... Oh, this would be a little more hurtful for me now. Build. This is about an attack speed isn't what we're looking for, realistically. I might want to just oblivion the uh, thieves. I imagine they have the same ability as uh, in the second chapter. So be a hard no for me, boss. Yep, to destroy an item, nimble ignores damage to all. That secondary ability who cares about with the that fucking that, that first ability is just Garbarino. Because it five percent essentially just is like a ninety percent for me. I'm an unlucky person, okay? How about lucky? I'll have the first to admit it. This also could have been the fact that invasion would be, uh, right, invasion tax is not as important with the, uh, this guy. I guess we're going to more defense oriented, oriented build it kind of is. But I, I do not like that noise. Yeah, 
problem, the biggest problem I have with the uh, the thieves is that it can destroy equipped items. If it made it so it had to destroy all the non-equipped items first, I really wouldn't be that you know anal about getting rid of them. Uh, I said anal. Uh, you know what I mean. As a matter of fact, I got my points out. I just had to make a stupid joke afterwards. Why? Oh, that's a great question. Why indeed? I'm gonna try putting a um, thing next to it if I don't throw it entirely. Mm -hmm. Two towns doesn't do anything. I like how um, the bone, the archer ones, just swing their fucking broken bow and arrow, or broken quiver at you. I've died. Have my quiver, fiend. Eat shit, bitch. Swamps and rivers do anything. So Do they break like the normal ones do, or I forgot to put it next to the thing? on it. looks like I don't know I think it did say shatters there but um it doesn't look like they go away when they when you when they're used people don't die when they're killed sometimes they come back and dead is better Guys, it's my hat. It's my same exact hat. I guess, right, it would be kind of garbage if they went away after if protecting, only because it's like a 20% chance for killing an enemy, which is not a very common thing to do in a combat. Or rather, it's not... Okay, it gets harder the more enemies you have, the more enemies you have, the harder it gets. And with that in mind, it makes sense to me that they don't, uh... It's because, you know, getting that percentage up when it goes away per hit would be kind of, uh, difficult. Mm -hmm. 
this fan goes. Region 7.8. It's a regen sword, and it's better. It's gonna regen, you know? I just wanna out heal the enemies. I guess I only technically killed one there somehow? It does help that when you're outside of combat, you do heal a lot faster because we're seconds past. Okay, so two by two doesn't do anything. I wonder what happens to the armor when you have a. Uh, Have the necromancy thing equipped. I you know it says like it gets rid of like the bonus, right? But I wonder what that really means. Yeah, it's the same, just the same effect. But I think it would do six technically. Just want to make sure. I don't think I'll put a thing there. This is a bad idea. Actually, I'm not looking too heavy, healthy. This scholar fight might prove to be a, a dead arena. Oh. He confused. Okay, rid of the albums there. Okay, no, it does go away. Uh, it makes more sense, but I mean, it does, you know, it does feel like kind of harsh. Harsh, bruh. Harsh, my bad. Did I take vampires out? I think I took vampires out. Vampires. Wet vampires. That's my new uh, D and D uh, monster, guys. Don't steal, please. Damp pyres. Yeah, that's other. You know. Let's go. They're good. Oh, 
about the possibility of getting into those goblins. <laughs> Summon the boss again. I don't even remember to look at the map bar. Kind of get rid of that one since it summons so many fucking goblins. Like, two connectors are bad. Three? That's insane. Seeing what it does. See, kill them, no time piece. Really Garbo. I forgot this next to road for that when we finished. Ripperoni. Kinda dumb. Pouring out from my brain because it fucking died sometime a while ago. Apparently. The only expression I have for this. See, no time piece. This thing's very possible if I can get it. Didn't even get the fire. Tragic. <laughs> I guess his death gave me a thing and then. Really, indirect kills don't actually... Count towards that, huh? Need some evasion. Should I just bail now? Take the shit home, try again? Mm -hmm. Let's have a level up. Maybe you can help? It's ironic, right, that getting all these, like, so, when you defeat a boss, right, so, like, you beat the Lex the first time, you get to move on to the next set, but if you go back and fight him again, you get to pick more perks, like, so, you know, after you beat him the first time, you get to pick a perk, second time, you get to pick a perk, third time, you get to pick a perk, you know, and it does that till his entire perk pool, like, runs out, and it just adds more perks to the perk pool, which, it's cool, but the big issue I have with it is that... It's kind of bogged down my perk pool. 
it feels like I don't get the ones I don't I want anymore because I picked up all these extra perks, which sound like they're helpful but aren't in the long run. Good this run, but it's gonna get better as it goes along. If I live long enough to get to the next round, it, it'll be very good. Extreme potions, getting that extra health buff, you know. Just because we're using so many of them, for fuck's sake. Do I have no vampirism? Jeez. I wonder if it's going to continue from there, or if it's... Mm, this is a bad fight for me. Oh my god, it nearly fucking killed me. Please miss some more for my friend. I mean, we still do have a res. Two reses, apparently. Uh, one, two, three. God damn it, that's fine. Put another one down to the distance. Necro, fucking have the fucking resurrect card. Of course I don't. I'm not playing the fucking necromancer. I actually think I'm gonna stop for tonight. Stop. I don't know. I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. I don't know. Maybe maybe it's still fucking Persona affecting me. I don't know. If you know anything about this game, feel free to hit me some hints, some tips. Nothing too spoiling. Don't tell me, don't tell me what the last boss is, but you know. Brandon, if you consider putting these two things together, it might be good. Wink, wink. I don't know. It's just, uh. I feel a bit weird tonight. I think it's it reminds me too fucking. I don't know. It's a number of things to be wrong with me, raging from my room temperature to just I I don't know. Maybe I'm tired. Maybe it's depression. Who fucking knows? 
I will figure it out. That's my problem. You can deal with your own problems. Have a nice day. Uh, see you guys tomorrow with Persona. <laughs> he says. Ooh, maybe Persona's a problem. <laughs> see you tomorrow with Persona. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, I don't know. See you guys tomorrow. Bye.